Hello, my name is Antonino and in this tutorial we're going to talk about the Ego4D challenges. In particular, we're going to discuss Ego4D benchmarks and challenges, the Ego4D train, validation and test split, how to reproduce the baselines, how to submit your predictions to the EvalEI leaderboard, uh, where to find the challenges, where to find the code, and then we're going to see an example walkthrough. Ego4D includes five different benchmarks. Episodic memory, which focuses on understanding the past, hands and objects, audiovisual diarization, social interaction, which deals with understanding the present, forecasting, which goal is to predict the future. Each benchmark focuses on a different aspect of egocentric perception and offers a set of annotations on a selected subset of data and a set of challenges or tasks to uh, engage with. You can find more information on our CVPR 2022 paper. Each data subset related to a given benchmark is divided into a training set, a validation set, and a test set. All videos are publicly released. The annotations of the training set are publicly released and they are meant for training models for the different challenges. The validation annotations are publicly released as well and they are meant for a model development and hyperparameter search. The test annotations instead are private and they are meant for assessing the performance of the final models in order to avoid bias in model design and optimization. So you are not supposed to perform hyperparameter tuning on the test set and we keep these annotations private to um, basically make this harder. So the only way to obtain results on the test set is to send model predictions to the EvalEI leaderboard. This is a scheme of how you are supposed to interact with the training set, validation set and test set. So you can use the training set to train your model on your machine. Then you can use the validation data and annotations to fine tune your model to, um, uh, to fine tune your architecture or uh, your hyperparameters. So to de develop and you can obtain validation results directly on your machine because validation annotations are public. Once you're happy with the results, then you can take your model, you can use the test data and produce a test JSON which contains your predictions. You send this JSON to a remote server which contains the Evil AI um, challenge and the test annotations and you receive the test results that you can put on your paper. Please note that submissions are limited to one per day and 50 per account in total, and this is to avoid overfitting on the test set again. Now let's see an example walkthrough on how to participate in a challenge and where to find um, relevant information. We will start from the ego4ddata.org website, which is the website of the data set. Once you open the website page, um, you can uh, click on start here and this will bring you to the documentation. Here you find different information on the dataset and if you click on benchmark tasks then you can select your benchmark, let's say we are interested in forecasting and get information on the, on the benchmark, so the motivation, the task definition and the annotations. And regarding the annotations you can find a JSON scheme of the annotations that you can download once you applied um, on the web page uh, to access the data. And this allows you to get a good understanding of which kind of annotations are available for each of the challenges. Now, if you click on Ego4D Challenge 2022, then you will find information on the different tasks. Um, so again, let's say we are interested in uh, uh, forecasting, we can scroll down to forecasting and then we can click on, for instance, short term hand object prediction. This will bring you to the Evil AI web page where you can find relevant information on the, on the challenge. On, in the overview tab, you can find task definition, the data and a link to the starter code and we will get there in a moment. On the uh, submit um, pane, instead, you find information on how to structure your JSON and once your JSON is ready, you can submit it by clicking on the test phase and then choosing one of three different ways to submit um, your, uh, your uh, predictions. You can use a command line interface that you have to install on your server. You can provide the URL to the, to the submission or you can upload your file directly uh, from your machine using this form. And you can also uh, provide other metadata. 
You can find information on how the results will be evaluated on the evaluation tab and there will be also a reference to the paper for more details and you can see all the results by clicking on leaderboard and selecting that phase. But let's get uh, back to the starter code. If you go back again to overview, you scroll down and click on the link under the starter code session. Um, this will bring you to a GitHub repository with information on the, uh, on the benchmark, on the forecasting benchmark in this case. And if you scroll down, you find entry point for the different baselines. It's four challenges, so four different baselines which have been implemented. And if you click, for instance, on short-term object interaction anticipation, you will see uh, that there is here detailed information on how to, for instance, download the data using the command line interface or on how to replicate the results of the baseline models by downloading pretrained models, producing object detections, testing the slow fast model and evaluating the results. And if you want to play with the baseline, you can also train it from scratch, tweak it a little bit and see if you can improve the results. Okay, so this concludes the presentation and thank you for your attention.